morning everybody welcome back to another video my name is Sophie from Bird Eye Traveller and today I'm heading to Cashenden Caves here in Northern Ireland which is a famous Game of Thrones filming location um, I'm really excited you do have to park up near the shop in the main village um, and it's free car park and then you just head around so yeah come and join me on the trip today. Cashenden Village is owned and protected by the National Trust so as well as the cave I would highly recommend having a look around this gorgeous village. It's right on the coast with picture perfect views. There are shops, cafes, beaches and coastal walks as well as the chance to see a red squirrel as they have a population here. To access the caves simply leave the car park and then walk across this arched bridge until you reach the other side and you can see the Cashenden Hotel in the distance. Walk towards the Johan the Goat statue and if you're curious to know who Johan is he was the last animal who was put down due to the foot and mouth outbreak which is pretty sad. Well, they have this statue to remember him here. It's good to note that the Cushenden Caves aren't actually signposted, but if you head around the flats, around the corner, you'll find this sign to access the caves, and it's really easy to find from the car park. There are two pathways, one along the beach and then one around the side of the houses. Now, I'm going to be a bit controversial here. I think that the beach is not a good way to access the cave. It was very dangerous, lots of debris, and very hard to walk on. Also, my shoes stank. <laughs> so, lots of people visit the Cushenden Caves due to the Game of Thrones link. So, Cushenden Caves actually featured in season two and featured as the backdrop of the Stormlands. So, this is where the Red Priestess, Melisandre, gives birth to the Shadow Assassin or her Shadow Baby. It was a really gross scene but basically she gives birth to the shadow baby and then this is when the spectre travels through to find Renly Baratheon and he kills him in his tent. And these scenes really show us how far Stannis Baratheon would go to sit on the throne and of course later on in the series we see that even more but I won't give any spoilers away here. So there are two sides to Cushenden Caves and both of them are quite short, but they are very picturesque as soon as you go inside. If you head into the right hand cave first, you'll find a series of smaller caves. And if you look right at the back, you might find a iron throne that someone has put here. I believe this is in the exact location where Sir Davos Seaworth and Lady Massandra had their conversation and then she gives birth to the baby. But yeah, you can actually go towards the iron throne and then sit on it and get a photo. These caves also featured again in season eight with the famous battle between Jamie Lannister and Euron Greyjoy. So yeah, it's definitely one for the Game of Thrones fans. So grab your camera and make sure to make some memories with the Iron Throne here. Um, as I say, I did sit on it and it wasn't as wet as I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, after you've had a sit on the Iron Throne um, and taken some photos, you'll see at the back, they've got some barriers here. So you can't really go any further than that. So if you head back on yourself, you can head into the left hand side of the caves which is almost like a small tunnel so yeah if you head all the way through the tunnel and then turn left you'll find the beach where Sir Davos Seaworth and Lady Missandra arrive by boat so that she can have her shadow baby here and even though it's a really small place it will give you all the Game of Thrones vibes and it will make you feel like you have landed in Storm's End especially on a stormy day when you hear the waves and it just feels very atmospheric if you're interested to know more about the caves beyond them being a Game of Thrones locations you may be surprised to know that these are over 400 million years old all of the caves around here were formed due to natural erosion and they were formed due to the humidity salt and the proximity to the ocean the name Cushenden means foot of the river Dun. apparently in 1567 an irish king called shane o'neill was brutally murdered here on the coast by his enemies the mcdonald's his home of Carra Castle can be seen in ruins today and his decapitated head was sent to Dublin Castle. According to local law, his spirit is said to haunt these caves and coasts. So watch out on your visit and make sure not to visit at night time. But yes, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, I would highly recommend visiting Cushenden Caves. It's a small location, but it really, really is just like you've stepped into Game of Thrones and Westeros. Top tip when you're coming to Cushenden Caves, do not come after 10 a.m. Because every tour group who's doing a Game of Thrones tour uh, comes through here. I mean, it's only for 10 minutes though, so if you don't mind waiting, that's fine. But it's just been in succession. So you've had one tour group, then another, then another, then another. So yeah, not great. Another tip, don't, well, there's a sign that says you have to walk along the beach 
but I think the beach is quite dangerous. It's slippy, there's lots of debris, glass, loads of cool like, stuff like that that's not great. And there is a sort of path just behind me, as you can see there with the boulders. Um, I would go in that one because otherwise you'd be having fish entrails. Ugh, it was disgusting on the beach and dangerous and slippy. So yeah, just try and use that path to get in the caves, but it was fun. Just, I wish that I didn't have to wait for like, coach loads of people. Um, but now I'm gonna be heading into Mary McBride's bar because there is a Game of Thrones door inside. And yeah, gonna get my passport. So if you don't know about the journey of doors, basically in 2016, the Dark Hedges was damaged because a coach tried to go through there. And so when you visit, you'll notice that some of the beech trees are missing. That's because they were damaged during this time. But what they did is they repurposed the wood and carved these Game of Thrones inspired doors um, across the country. And you can find them in pubs around Northern Ireland. And they have a journey of doors passport um, where you can get yours stamped when you visit all of the doors, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm going to go into Mary McBride's, which has a Game of Thrones door. And they basically just get a little stamp with their initials on it and um, stamp it for you. So yeah, let's go. See, at Cashendon is a beautiful village owned and protected by the National Trust and Mary McBride's used to be the smallest bar in Ireland. It was named after the landlady who used to own it and today they have one of the famous Game of Thrones doors. Make sure to get your Journey of Doors passport stamped and to pop in for some food. It was really, really good. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe for more Game of Thrones filming locations.